derive an expression for the emf of electrolyte concentration cell reversible to cation with transference consider a cell of the type Platinum is in contact with the hydrogen gas at one atmospheric pressure, is in contact with HCl of activity A1, is in contact with HCl of activity A2, with the porous partition, is in contact with hydrogen gas of one atmosphere and platinum. And transport of hydrogen and chloride ions are indicated just below the cell. This type of cell consists of two hydrogen gas electrodes in contact with HCl solution of different concentrations or activities. The two solutions are in direct contact with each other through porous partition. This cell is reversible to cation that is H plus ions. Let A2 is greater than A1. As the two solutions are in direct contact that is porous partition, the transfer of electrolyte takes place from one compartment to another. Hence, there will be a liquid junction potential. When one Faraday of electricity passes through the cell, 1 gram atoms of hydrogen dissolves at the left hand electrode to yield 1 gram ions of hydrogen and the same amount of hydrogen ions is reduced to form 1 gram atom of hydrogen gas which is liberated at the right hand electrode. Therefore, the reactions at the respective electrodes of the cell can be written as at left hand electrode oxidation takes place so half of hydrogen gas is converted into H plus ions of activity A1 plus electrons are liberated out. At right hand electrode reduction takes place. So H plus ions of activity A2 combines with the given electron and transforms itself into half of H2 gas. Net cell reaction is combination of these two reactions. So H plus ions of activity A2 is converted into H plus ions of activity A1. This is equation number 1. The electrons liberated move in the external circuit from left hand electrode to right hand electrode. To complete the circuit, similar charges must pass from right to left through the liquid junction. These charges are carried by the ions of the solution. As chloride ions carry negative charge, they move in the direction of electrons. The hydrogen ions carry positive charge and thus they move in the opposite direction. Thus. While the current is passing, T plus gram ions of H plus ions will migrate across the junction between two solutions from left to right and T minus gram ions of chloride ions will move in the opposite direction. Here T plus and T minus are the transference numbers of hydrogen and chloride ions respectively. Therefore, T plus Faraday of charge will be carried by T plus gram ions of hydrogen ions from left to right and T minus Faraday of charge will be carried by T minus gram ion of chloride ions from right to left. These reactions can be written as follows. For the transfer of hydrogen ion, T plus grams of H plus ions of activity A1 is transferred to T plus gram of H plus ions of activity A2. Since the sum of T plus and T minus is 1, therefore T plus is equals to 1 minus T minus. Let's substitute these values. Hence, 1 minus T minus of H plus ions of activity A1 is being transferred to 1 minus T minus of H plus ions of activity A2. This is equation number 2. For the transfer of chloride ions, we can write the same reaction that is T minus of chloride ions of activity A2 is being transferred to T minus of chloride ions of activity A1. This is equation number 3. As all the processes are taking simultaneously, the net cell reaction is given by the addition of equation number 1, 2 and 3. So let's add all of them. So H plus of activity A2 plus 1 minus T minus of H plus of activity A1 plus T minus of chloride ions of activity A2 gives H plus of activity A1 plus 1 minus T minus H plus of activity A2 plus T minus of chloride ions of activity A1. Now let's open the brackets. So H plus of activity A2 plus H plus of activity A1 minus T minus H plus of activity A1 plus T minus chloride ions of activity A2 
gives h plus of activity a1 plus h plus of activity a2 minus t minus h plus of activity a2 plus t minus chloride ions of activity a1. Here we can cancel h plus of activity a2 and h plus of activity a1 from both the sides. So what is remaining is minus t minus h plus of activity a1 plus t minus of chloride ions of activity a2 gives minus t minus h plus of activity a2 plus t minus chloride ions of activity a1. Let's bring together with the similar activities. So t minus of h plus of activity a2 plus t minus of chloride ions of activity a2 gives t minus of h plus of activity a1 plus t minus of chloride ions of activity a1. Here hydrogen and chloride ions can combine to make HCl. Therefore T minus of HCl of activity A2 is being transferred to T minus of HCl of activity A1. Now we can apply Nernst equation to this cell reaction. So we get E cell is equals to E0 cell minus RT by NF ln of A1 by A2 power to T minus or E cell is equals to E0 cell minus 2.303 RT by F log of A1 by A2 power to T minus. Here number of electrons involved is 1 therefore n is equals to 1. Since both the electrodes are same therefore E0 cell is equals to 0. Therefore E cell is equals to minus 2.303 RT by F log of A1 by A2 power to T minus. At standard conditions that is 298 degrees Kelvin 2.303 RT by F is equals to 0.0591. Let's substitute this value. Therefore, E cell becomes minus 0.0591 log of A1 by A2 power to T minus. Now we can take this power out of the log which gives minus 0.0591 into T minus log of A1 by A2. Finally, we can invert A1 by A2 so that we can remove the negative sign. Therefore, E cell is equals to 0.0591 into T minus log of A2 by A1. This is the final expression for the EMF of the electrolyte concentration cell reversible to cation with transference. Since HCl is uni-univalent electrolyte, A1 is equals to M1 square gamma 1 square and A2 is equals to M2 square and gamma 2 square. Here M and gamma represent molality and activity coefficient. Thus E cell is equals to 0.0591 into T minus log of M2 square gamma 2 square divided by M1 square gamma 1 square which can be written as 0.0591 into T minus log of M2 gamma 2 divided by M1 gamma 1 power to 2. We can also take this power out of the log so it comes 0.0591 into 2 t minus log of m2 gamma 2 divided by m1 gamma 1. For spontaneous cell reaction A2 must be greater than A1. It should be noted that if the electrodes of the concentration cell are reversible with respect to cation the transference number of the anion gets involved in the equation. Note. If the electrolyte used in the above cell is biunivalent or unibivalent then A1 is equals to 4 M1 cube gamma 1 cube and A2 is equals to 4 M2 cube and gamma 2 cube. Hence the expression for EMF of the cell becomes E cell is equals to 0.0591 into 3 T minus log of M2 gamma 2 divided by M1 gamma 1. Let's take one example of the similar type of cell. The EMF of the following cell at 298 degrees Kelvin is 0.0418 volt. The cell is given as silver solid in contact with silver nitrate molality 0 0.02 and gamma 0 0.9 is contact with again is contact with another silver nitrate solution of molality 0 0.1 and gamma 0 0.85 with a porous partition. This is again in contact with silver. Calculate the transference number of silver ions and nitrate ions in the given range of concentration. The given cell is an electrolyte concentration cell with transference reversible to cations that is silver ions. Hence its EMF as we have already derived is given by 
Et at 298 degrees Kelvin is equals to 0.0591 into 2t minus log of m2 gamma 2 divided by m1 gamma 1. Let's substitute the data. So EMF of the cell was 0.0418 is equals to 0.0591 into 2t minus log of 0.1 into 0.85 divided by 0.02 into 0.9. Let's do the multiplication in the bracket. So it becomes 0.0418 is equals to 0.0591 into 2t minus log of 0.085 divided by 0.018. Let's finish the division also. So 0.0418 is equals to 0.0591 into 2t minus log of 4.722. Now let's take the log. 0.0418 is equals to 0.0591 into 2t minus into 0.674. <coughs> Therefore, we can move everything on the opposite side and we get t minus is equals to 0.0418 divided by 0.0591 into 2 into 0.674 that is 0.0418 divided by 0.0797 which comes 0.525 this is transport number of negative ion that is nitrate ions that is 0.525 therefore Therefore, the transport number of silver ion is 1 minus transport number of nitrate ions which is equals to 1 minus 0.525 which is 0.475. So, by using this equation, we can easily calculate transport number as well as EMF of the cell. If you like my videos, please click on like button. And if you are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to receive the latest updates.